As we all know, today is a very special day for many people throughout the world. For you bibliophiles out there, today is International Book Giving Day. <laughs> February is Heart Health Month, and February 14th in particular is Women's Heart Health Day. I wish that Heritage Park was open because we could all go and celebrate National Ferris Wheel Day together. Mm. I bet most of these holidays you all had no idea were on February 14th. But the one thing that we all know, the one holiday that February 14th is, is of course Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is celebrated in over 30 countries throughout our world, in the Americas, in Europe, as well as in Asia. And while it is celebrated differently in each of these countries, I am here to say that you should not celebrate love on February 14th at all. What? What are you talking about, Reina? That sounds more like something that would come from a scorned woman or a man who just not, does not want to be told when he should be romantic. Not from a happily married woman such as yourself. Just hear me out. As we all know, this day in particular can cause anxiety and depression in other people because it's just a day. Society says you're supposed to celebrate it, but that's all it is. It's just a day. This is not it. This is not the only day that you can show somebody that you love, that you love them. This is not the day to buy candy, flowers, or a card and show somebody that you care. Society seems to say that if that special someone doesn't do this for you, they don't care about you at all. Or, if you have nobody in your life, you're supposed to be depressed today because you don't have someone to celebrate with. But I think right now you're all going, Brandon, where are you going with this? This, <laughs> this is supposed to uplift our spirit, right? But this is it. Showing your love to those that you care about should be every day in many different ways. Whether it's a text or an email to somebody, just saying that you're thinking of them. Whether it is seeing that favorite chocolate bar when you're at the checkout and picking it up randomly. Whether it's being purposeful, going and looking up online, something that your special someone enjoys and finding a holiday randomly, International Book Giving Day, that you can celebrate with them that tells them, I thought of you. These are all ways that you can celebrate the love that you have for somebody. And there are many ways that you can show people that you love them. Find the love language that they have and how to express it to them. Are they somebody who likes it when you do stuff for them? Find out what would speak the loudest. Do the dishes, vacuum, fill up the car when you have it out and you notice it near empty. You can also, even if you're not a honey person, but the person that you love is, give them a hug. It'll mean so much more coming from you. If there's somebody who enjoys having time spent with them, take them out for coffee and for Pete's sake, leave your phone in the car. That will show them that you're there specifically for them. If there's somebody who enjoys words of encouragement, Lisa posted something on Facebook this morning. She knows that those are things that if somebody knows that she loves encouragement and they tell her about it, that that person loves her. Go out of your way, do that. It shouldn't be just exclusive to a significant other. There is somebody in every single one of your lives who you love, whether it's a parent, a sibling, a child, your grandparent, or a friend. Send your mom a text saying, hey, I'm thinking of you. 
Take and put a note in your child's lunchbox. Take your grandparent out with you for a night on the town, you know? All of these things will boomerang back and bless you as well. Your mom will get your text and say, hey, I love that, I love you. Your child will come home from school and give you a hug. Grandma will be like, this is my grandchild, I'm so proud of them because of whatever, just because they're out, you know, you took the time to take them out. There's also, not will it boomerang, but it can also spread. Mom gets your text, she thinks of your sibling, she sends it to your sibling, your sibling sends it on to the next person, the next person, and the next person, and you have a continuous thing. You come, go up with your friend for coffee and give them a little squeeze, they decide to get you a specialty coffee as a result. They also notice the person behind them is counting their money, so they decide to get a specialty coffee for them. That person takes that money that they have, that they have just enough for a regular coffee, and takes and buys that coffee and goes outside the store and gives it to the homeless person. You can also show love by doing, donating your time or your talents. Find something that gets you passionate and find a charity that you can help out. Does feeding hungry people get your heart pounding? Go find what you can do at the mustard seed, at In From The Cold, or around bagging it. If you don't have time to volunteer, Donate at the food bank. When you're in the store, get in your groceries, put something in the cart, take it after, after you pay for it and put it in the donation bin. If you don't have that time, go online, donate there. There are so many ways that we can give. And they, it's just one example of an area where you can do that. Wherever you choose to give, whatever time, talent, or treasure you decide, to invest in, you will be able to get it back. Love Makes the Round is an expression that um, is out there and it truly does. Part of that going around thing means that it comes back to you. And whatever we do, whether it's the person who we give the love to and we get it in return, or in a roundabout way by giving and they give and on and on and on, it will come back to us. Now there's a song that's been running through my head for the last week, and it normally isn't a song that I would sing this time of year because it's a Christmas song. But if I change one word, Christmas, to Valentine's, I can make it holiday appropriate. Don't save it all for Valentine's Day. Find a way to give a little love every day. Don't save it all for Valentine's Day, because holidays will come and go, but love lives on It'll give on if you give a little love. Mm.